<laughs> okay guys, believe it or not, there's not a drop of paint on this leg. Not a drop, okay? Absolutely nothing. Full bond, okay? So we're going to continue now testing. And what I'm doing now is I want to see over July epoxy what happens. So I've got three different uh, so three different tests. So the first one is going to be dry epoxy. Yeah, after it's dried. Yeah, and it's not washed. So I'll see how much amine is in this material in this epoxy. It's not sanded, and I'm going to put primer on top. Yeah, I've got mixed up primer over here. Uh, it's the two pack epoxy primer for steel. I'm going to put a lad on top of this and see and do a delamination test tomorrow or the next day. The next one is uh, epoxy only washed. I washed it with acetone, not water, so I make sure that like it's even better, so it's like really nice. I'm going to put the primer on top of that now and see what adhesion I got. And then I've got the third one over here which is washed and sanded. Yeah, I've already sanded this area with 180 grit paper. So this area is sanded. So this is like properly done, you know, as far as uh, whatever. And then I got this one. This one is super wet on super wet. That means that the epoxy was still there. It was tacky. It was a big puddle of epoxy. And I just put the primer on top when I was doing all of this. And they, they turned into one material. The amine came through. It kind of feels oily, kind of. I'm going to do an adhesion test for this now also. Uh, we're going to pull off rags of all of them after I've uh, painted them. Now I'm going to paint these three. I'm just going to do it right now. So basically, here you go. I've got a paint brush full of paint. I hope I don't make a mess. And I'm just going to put it over here, okay? So this one is the first one. It hasn't got anything. Hasn't anything been done to it. And that pretty much looks okay to me. Now I'll do these two. So I'll shut down the camera, but... Yeah, I'll start doing it. Okay, Balkan shipyards. You know that go over that one. Okay, and I got to paint stuff in the boat now. So before I paint stuff in the boat, I might as well just do this test. And uh, yeah, this is basically get a nice thick layer on there. And uh, I'll let this harden. I'll do the cuts. I'll stick on a leg with epoxy. And we're going to pull on it like wild in a couple of days and we can all see live what happens between all these guys. So we're going to continue our test now. So I'm going to stick on the rag with the fresh epoxy onto these paints. But I want a perfect adhesion between the, the, the rag with the epoxy and the paint. So I'm going to, I'm going to sand them. So I'm going to sand just like that. I'm going to sand all four. I'm not going to show you that because you know how I sand. I'll sand them all. And uh, I'll just keep on doing that. Now I'm going to take the knife and I'm going to cut. And I'm going to cut the squares, okay? So. All four are sanded, and it's the the cutting of the squares. I'll just quickly continue, and basically this this turns the the, the paint into little squares, and the little square is easier to pull off than the full surface of the paint. So when I glue the leg on now with the with the epoxy, it's easier for, for a little baby square to just bam, snap off versus the whole surface. Okay, this is the true test, and it's uh, there you can see the cuts. Okay, so they're here and they're here. And now the next stage will be I'll cut those two. I'm going to mix epoxy now for the boat. I've got stuff to glue in, and then I'm just going to come over here and put on four pieces of rag and glue them on and see what happens. I'm going to put some acetone onto the rag and uh, I'm going to clean them up. I want to 
I want to make sure there's no dust or oils to have real good adhesion between the leg and the paint over here. Okay. So there you go, all the dust is off, all the oils are off, should be clean enough, all surfaces are cut, all surfaces are sanded, next is epoxy. Okay, I've got epoxy over here, some flesh epoxy over there in the pot, and this is hard work, because I'm holding the camera, but, okay, and I was just wet out the legs I might I might have to do this uh, off air yeah it's not working really well just done epoxying on all the legs flesh epoxy over there tomorrow when everything is dry we pull and we see the differences between all four tests over here The moment uh, of truth now. So we got epoxy. We have epoxy on 100% uh, polyester cloth, and it's all dry. It's all set. Uh, been 24 hours since I epoxied on this cloth. I'm gonna pull them all off one by one, and we see what happens. So over here we got. Uh, so this is the first one, not washed and not sanded. Let's see what comes off. Oh, well, the cloth uh, kind of snapped and nothing seems to be coming off, so I don't know what to do about that. Let's go to the second one, which is uh, only washed and not sanded. Whoa. Okay, guys, I mean, I just have to do somehow. I don't know how. Whoa. Oh, well. Okay, I'm getting it off. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. So, there you go. It's pulled off the paint. Okay? Because this has been only, this section has been only washed. Okay? So the, so the glossy epoxy, the, the, the epoxy paint couldn't uh, adhere to the glossy epoxy resin. And there you go, it's pulled off full pieces of paint. Let's go to this one. This one is uh, sanded, washed and sanded. Not good. Paint has come off. But it's really interesting why there's still paint over here. But uh, paint has definitely come off. I have no doubt that paint has come off over here, okay? Let's go to the last one, which is wet on wet on, like real wet on wet over here, okay? Let's see what this one does. Okay guys, so if anybody out there has got any uh, questions or any uh, whatevers, then uh, forget it. Wet on wet, man, there's an adhesion like never before, okay? What's come off over here is it's got ripped off from the wood. They, they they go together, okay? There's no uh, there's no ifs and buts over here. It's exactly this exactly fits that. Here the, there's some cloth left. Yo, whoa, same thing, okay? It's tore it off the wood. It's tore it off the wood. The only thing I don't like, and I'm kind of surprised, is. Why did we, why did this delaminate? I don't understand what's going on over here, I mean, because this has been, this is, 
this is washed and I've washed the amine of this one and I've sanded it lightly and uh, I don't understand exactly what's going on because yeah I mean like I don't know exactly what's going on over here it's come off but it's still there too so I really don't know what's going on over here but the wet on wet one is ridiculously strong the real bond between the two there's no I mean it's, it's delaminated the whole thing of the wood but they won't separate from each other that's not happening that's not happening at all okay so this one I'm, I'm kind of disappointed I don't know what's going on over here so I've decided to redo this third test well it's uh, this plumber over July and sanded epoxy. So basically, here's the piece, it's the same thing uh, over July and sanded epoxy. I put the primer, I put cuts into the paint when it dried, and I glued this on with epoxy. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Okay, so. I believe that this is successful. Why do I believe that? Because I thought about it quite a lot and I think that it's it's the paint is just tailing into two so you're getting paint coming off on here but they still got paint over here hey so I don't believe that there is a delamination of this and the same thing is here so I'm, I'm happy with this okay uh, I'm going to keep working like this, I mean if I work like this, it just shows the differences and basically wet on wet is actually the strongest bond, okay? Let's do the not washed, not sanded test. Well, it doesn't come off. There's a bond, yeah, believe it or not too, eh? I mean, I'm doing my best. Because... Oh, damn. I don't understand, but I mean, it just that one come off. At the end of the day, okay. There's a uh, here's the epoxy. The epoxy stain behind. The lag is slipping off, leaving the epoxy bonded to the primer. I'm doing my best to get it off. It just doesn't seem to want to come off. Okay, so here it is, things are happening finally. Oh. Okay, we got the same stuff happening over here, we got uh, the lamination of the wood itself, that means that it's slipping, it's slipping off Everything's coming off. There's a very good bond over here, even though it's not sanded and it's not washed. I'm 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 pleased with this. It's just showing me that when I sand before paint, if I miss a spot, I'm still having a bond. I still have a bond. There's no there's no question about it. Okay, there's just no question. Absolutely. Now this is the last and most interesting test and I have two examples yes of I've done primer over epoxy wet on wet big patch over here okay this side where the line goes down is I, I sanded the wet on wet primer which is dry yeah I, was, I sanded it I made cuts in it and I glued on a piece so this is sanded and this is not sanded this means directly over the over the primer epoxy primer bond thing which is wet on wet directly over it without sanding it without doing anything to it I put my top coat on top I want to see what bond there is between this new molecule crazy stuff which is epoxy and paint together okay because it's wet on wet okay so Let's see the bond. First, we'll do the sanded side. 
There's cuts in both sides. We'll do the sanded side. Mm. Well, I don't know. I suppose there's a bond, you know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm going to get it off, you know, because I'm kind of stubborn. Almost there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, guys, believe it or not, there's not a drop of paint on this leg. Not a drop, okay? Absolutely nothing. Full bond, okay? The epoxy tore off, okay? The paint is bonded to this primer like best in the West. This is a sanded one, okay? Now let's see what happens. On this side, which is the very interesting one, because if this works, I don't even have to sand the primer. I do wet on wet, and I, and I just put the top coat on top, if this works. May the force be with us. I'll be fair and square, I'm pleased with this, you know, I mean, there is, a, there is paint on this one, okay, this one has no paint on it whatsoever, only epoxy, over here there is paint, there is something, okay, it's whitish, but there's still paint over here, a full square didn't pull off, Okay, the cuts are there, the, the, the paint is there, everything's there. Guys, I'm really pleased with this. That means, I'm not saying I'm not going to sand, okay? Um, I'm not saying I'm not going to sand. What I'm saying is, I'll just buff it up with sandpaper here and there, uh, over the over the wet on wet epoxy primer, over epoxy, I might be putting slightly more of a little bit of an effort, okay? But, uh... If I didn't, if I didn't do a real good job, yeah, and uh, and it's uh, I missed here and there, you know, where it's low spots and stuff, and the sandpaper didn't get everything, then good business. I don't give a damn, okay? Cause the paint bonds. There's a very good bond. I'm very, 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 very pleased with this test. So I can do. I'm saying it again before we knock off Balkan shipyards. Wet on wet, so you put the epoxy, you put the primer. Okay, bam, bam. Okay, one on the other. The next day, I'll buff it up. And if I didn't buff here and there, and I put my white on top, it's going to hold. Under water line, yes, I'm going to sand real nice outside, okay? Above water line, inside the boat, I'm going to sand it as fast as can be, and I'm going to put my top coat on, and uh, it didn't come off. Well, good. So, guys, uh, yes, <laughs> success is uh, in the making, and uh, things work. Things work. They'll, it's it's logical for the materials to bond to each other because an epoxy primer, a good epoxy primer over over a decent epoxy resin, they 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 form a, a, a molecule bond, and uh, and and and. And the top coat that is made for that epoxy primer, it's made for it, okay? It's made to bond to it, okay? It bonds to it. So, let's just keep doing freestyle boat building. Guys, I wish you all the best. The force is with you. Keep shunting. Balkan shipyards. Havaya 3025. I got a lead pod. That's the next video. All the best. Take care.